Empowerment to me is education. Empowerment means when a woman's opinion is taken seriously. Basically, is having faith in yourself as a person. Empowerment is you just allow a woman to be the way she is. Now, the parampara is that the women who are in the family are not going to go या वो सर्विस इस लाइन में नहीं आएंगी मैंने तोड़ी है अच्छा किया अगर मैं ना तोड़ती किसी और को तोड़ना पड़ता शुरुआत तो होनी थी मुझसे होगी तो बहुत अच्छा है बेंगल वंद बालामा इरकनु नन्हा चा हमारे को वंद कल्वे मिकियन थे वे रंडा वंद सोतेरु में थे वे कि रंडे रंचिना नम्मा वाल के लम मुन्ने � Welding is not traditionally a female domain, yet Ramvati chose to train herself at it. She was given an initial credit of 2,500 rupees to set up her enterprise, along with the facility of taking a new loan after paying off the earlier one. Today, after five years of hard work, she has paid off all her loans and also saved enough to construct her house. Doors made by her now are popular and demands are pouring in, not just from her own village, but from bigger towns like Agra and Bharatpur. This shift from homemaker to bread earner has neither been quick nor easy. Women have not been passive recipients of miraculous changes in laws and human nature. More and more women are stepping out to effect these changes. Nainala is the head of a multinational bank in India, a career woman symbolic of the personal advances achieved by women. I think I was pretty certain that uh, marriage wasn't the be-all and end-all of my existence. It was important uh, for me to achieve uh, something beyond being uh, a mother and uh, a mother, a uh, wife, whatever. So uh, in my mind, uh, I don't think it was an either-or decision. I knew I wanted a career. Uh, I knew I also would get married. It was just a function of one coming a little later than the other. It is now a question of equal opportunities. Armed forces was a hotly contested male domain until the first batch of women pilots joined the Indian Air Force in 1995. Another outlandish idea that has come to pass as the young women take changes completely in their stride. It is the manner in which a girl child is raised in society that shapes her destiny. If she is brought up as an equal, she wouldn't accept anything less, nor would she be anything less. Indira Sharma is earning a well-deserving salary of one lakh rupees a month. I feel that's my dignity, my pride and uh, my freedom. Money gives you freedom, it does. So I wouldn't want to uh, bargain on my freedom. Women and girls today are living the legacy of women's movements that generations of women before us have given their best to achieve. The staggering changes for women that have come about over the years in family life, in government, in education, in employment. These changes did not just happen spontaneously. Women themselves have made these changes happen very deliberately. <laughs>